disappointed movies. Let's give away all the spoilers right now. Yes. Well, we're not really doing the show to uh, Deadpool 2, Avengers Infinity War, oh. for those who haven't seen it. And um, I just don't want to lie and say I saw Ant Man the Lost, and I'll tell you everybody dies. But that's yeah. not true. Yeah, everybody dies. Ultimately, halfway through the movie, everybody just turns into ash. <laughs> Ten minutes in. <laughs> yeah. uh, what are you drinking? I'm drinking um, the Brau Weiss Hateful Weiss. Uh, I've got the. Uh, I do go to Germany every year. That's my. Oh, you do? That's my German accent. No, my. Oh. I mean, I do go, but I, yeah. I suck. Oh. I'm oh, that's a, right. Yeah, you do that show. I, I'm just a dumb American. Mm. With one language that I know. You got a pretty hot IPA here. Hot? Uh, gold clip. Yes. IPA. Uh, hot as in it's, it's a little spicy? No, hot, hot as in like that's definitely like an over 6% alcohol. With IBUs. Yeah, like. it's, it's up there. It's, yeah. Well, I haven't eaten since like 11.30 today, so. You just, are going to get a little tipsy. Whew, yeah, a little bit oh, long way. Yes. Hi, how's it going? Welcome to Beers with Benchmade back in Oregon City, hometown of Benchmade Knife Company. Good to be back. This is Hans. Yes. I am Derek. And this is Beers with Benchmade, where every week we broadcast and live, yep. might I add. Here at the Growler Run. At the Growler Run in Oregon City. And chat with you guys who are watching live. Of course, uh, this is an opportunity for people to throw questions at us live. And uh, we hopefully will try to, our best to answer them back. So, without further ado, today's topic cons. Yeah, we are going to actually be talking about Benchmades in the movies. And whether you've noted it or not we actually are featured in quite a lot of stuff yes um, we brought some knives some some recent shows and movies and some kind of picture examples and stuff and a lot of this like i didn't even really realize until i actually caught it in a couple shows one yeah. show i was watching last year westworld yeah um immediately first thing i did when i saw it on the screen too is i took a picture and texted Derek. So yeah i was like yeah look at that look it's a bitch uh, it changes the way how you watch TV and yep. movies. By it the way. totally Especially does. Especially for I'm me, always trying to figure out. What I'm it always is. pausing, yeah. frame, frame, <laughs> frame, and usually with a knife, it's always it's generally a quick flash in the yep. pan. So yeah. uh, to catch these, it's tough. And I, um, so I work with a lot of prop teams on movies. So they contact us directly as a manufacturer, ask for gear, sometimes they ask for opinion. So local production, Grimm, which used to shoot in Portland and was on NBC, they used to ask us what they thought would be a cool knife. I wanted to give the heroin of the valley so, oh, so yeah, bad. Yeah. And I got my and wish. And it worked? And I got my wish. Do we have it's that? in there. It's in there. We'll get there. Okay. I'll get there. Well, here, I'm going to show them. Oh, let's show now. We actually did it. There it goes. There it's it right is. There. She actually learned. Uh, I actually went on set, got to go on set. Learn a little, uh, teach him a little bit on flipping valleys, the basic open. Yeah, that's and, awesome. Uh, she did it. She she nailed the basic open on so the show. Do they always contact us, or do sometimes we just so not have always. stuff to show up? Yeah, sometimes we just randomly show up. So prop guys sometimes just buy their stuff from the local dealer. Okay. Uh, but the ones who that reach out to me, I at least try to keep track, follow the shows. Um, so for all you big time movie uh, producers and directors and prop guys yes. out there, if you're watching, just call this. Derek. He's gonna send you knives. I, I do send a lot of knives. So uh, yeah, you saw Westworld. Yeah, well, last year. Last year, and then boom, episode one, season two, probably. Ultimately, my favorite use of a Benchmade I've ever seen. The most yeah. accurate use and context of using Dude, this tool. This was incredible, and I'm sorry about the spoilers, but this is weeks it's ago. It's episode so, one. Yeah, Come episode on. one, season two. Everyone leave now. But literally pulls out a knife roll with Derek's favorite knife. You can see the handle they're sticking oh, out, the 119. 119, right? glorious oh, 119. Yeah. So that's why I thought originally Derek must have hooked them up because... Nope. His favorite knife was in I there. I cannot take credit for this. I <laughs> well, cannot. You, you could have. I would have believed it. You probably would have. But that other one there, they take out our Nestucca cleaver, and I'll show you that one kind of here in person, because this guy is pretty unique, you know, based on that Alaskan Ulu. You know, really good, actually, uh, a skinning blade, but uh, great for camp chores and everything else. But this was the first time I'd ever seen this blade used to scalp an android. To yes. remove its memory core, and it was probably the coolest use I'd ever seen in my life. And probably, so. and yeah, super accurate use. I, was, I actually, yeah. was, it was funny. My wife was watching with me, and she's just like, "Why are you so excited?" I was like, they're using it right. Yeah, it was incredible. It was <laughs> awesome. It just blew my mind. Not uh, one, but two benchmates, and two. you get a scalped android out of the deal. Oh my gosh, yeah. man, I'd love to go to this world. Mm. 
minus the consequences and the robots trying to kill me. Yeah, I would have gone pre-kill uh, stage. Pre, yeah, yeah. pre, pre wake, awakening, yes. I guess is what they call it. Um, so yeah, check it out. Next movie. This movie, so here's the funny story in the context of the story that I understand. This movie came out right after we discoed this um, model. Yep, yep. And it was part of all the legendary hype of this thing. The legendary too. hype just created, and this movie created even more buzz. So comic book movies, no surprise, right now, huge thing. And this was during that kind of that fever pitch yep. when anything was turned from a comic book was being turned into a movie. And not to say this is bad, this was a Mark, originally a Mark Miller comic. And actually a really good movie, too. Great movie, great yeah. comic by Mark Miller. I don't know if you're familiar with his work, but no. we're talking about Kick-Ass. Boom. And then this is, of course, the 42. And Hit Girl. Yeah, Hit Girl. Hit Girl. Gets us for her birthday? or she, for, for her birthday, she yep. won matching Benchmade 42s. Yep. Yeah, really good. Nick Cage in that one, too. Nick Cage and, um... God, what's her name? I forgot her name. Nobody knows. But, to show that... Oh, did we take it down? Oh, no, 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 no you no, got no. it here. We no. brought it. So, we, you might have saw in the teaser picture for the show yeah. this uh, variant of a 42. Yeah, it's, it's a prototype. It's a proto. Those 42s and are hard to come by, even for us. So, this one's actually... I actually felt like showing it because yeah. I thought it was cool as heck. Well, because you were... You're kind of a 42 snob, and you I wouldn't was, grab a T latch. You I wanted was, to have a spring latch. We have a so, thousand T latches yeah. in our archive. Not thousand. That's not accurate at all. We have a lot of T latches. One. I wanted a spring latch. That was was in the movie. This yeah. one just is cool. Yeah. I grabbed it. It is it cool. Hopefully, makes it back to the archives, or else have probably fired. Me, yeah. So. Uh, we're well, there's about, some evidence that we have. Yeah, I know. It's all on video now. So, uh, real quick, this is Beers with Benchmade. Throw us your questions. If you've seen a movie yeah. with one of our knives and that we have don't mention here, throw it out to us. We'd like to know. I don't catch every movie. I watch yeah. a lot of movies. Yeah. And this is why when we travel, I watch a lot of these not great movies sometimes. That I Anytime I'm watching the back to. of the plane scene, it's always I pick the worst movies. Yeah. You know. Liam Neeson. Yeah. Any Liam Neeson movie. <laughs> That's right. Uh, so our next slide here is, of course, Westworld oh. 1. Yeah. Uh, Westworld Season 1. This was held by here. I'll let you hold out. I'll do the zooming. Uh, an AFO. The classic AFO. And uh, Really blunted tip on there, but you can tell why if you've ever seen Westworld. Again, no... No, no, I'm bad on the spoiler, but they do use it to pry, yes. which isn't a highly recommended deal. And robots, yeah, you know, robot stabbing, yeah, you don't want to stab somebody on the set. But that's what a lot of prop guys do. Um, <laughs> yeah. They'll dull the knives. So, ooh, little tidbit of information from what my experience with prop guys. They generally request three of one knife. Oh. They do this because one, they want to leave one pristine and sharp. Mm -hmm. Two. The second knife, they make a rubber mold of. So if they do a knife fight, they literally mold and cast that knife in molten rubber and create a rubber sense. version. So that one gets ruined virtually in the in that process. And the third one, they'll chop the blade off and use it as a stab plate. So a lot of times the actors will wear a magnetic plate uh, yeah. underneath their shirt or whatever the clothing they're wearing. And when you take that blade, because it's been sawed off, and stab it, it'll stick because it's magnetic. That is a question, guys. Yes, fire a question. Any movies with the infidel? And lots of movies. Well, TV shows. I can think of a few. TV shows with Back the in the day, USA Burn Notice. We had infidel very prominently featured. Um, Gosh, you think there would be more? A recent TV show. It's actually an Amazon Prime show, and I actually think it's a hilarious show if you haven't seen it yet. It's Jean Claude Van Johnson. What? It stars Jean Claude Van Damme. <laughs> And so the premise is he was an ex act he's an action star that was an ex CIA operative, but then retired because he got old and can't do the roundhouse splits anymore. Um, so he comes out of retirement, starts international spying again, and pulls out an infidel in one scene. I believe it is there's only one season. I think it's episode four. Jean Claude Van Johnson. Jean Claude. That's his. That's his alias. Okay, that's pretty good. Right. You never would know that is Jean Claude Van Damme from the movies because no. he's now Jean Claude Van Damme. Yeah. So uh, it's actually it's pretty slapstick. It's pretty off the wall. But that uh, infidel is also featured in that. Um, off the top of my head, I can't think of anything else. But there'd be a lot. There are a lot of movies. I, I would say there probably is more autos out there. You know what I mean? Isn't that like a more popular That's question? That's generally the request we get a lot yeah. for. Yeah. Um, there was autos. one of the ones, the first one I thought of, when I because I when I started at Benchmade 2 and I noticed they were in movies, was this one. I Am Legend. Yeah. So this is, uh, yeah, Will Smith, uh, zombie-ish 
you know, post-apocalyptic movie, but gets trapped by rope, has to cut himself down, busts a, an automatic, a push-button auto out of his, uh, I think his, was it in his boot? remember where he Can't pulled remember. it out of. But, but he tried to yeah. uh, trick the zombie into the trap, and he got bamboozled back yep. in his own trap. That's right. So, yeah. Um, yeah. If you, ever, if you ever get hung by your feet upside down, a push-button auto does course, come in handy. 9100. Great example. What Will Smith pulls out. Cuts it. This one has a, a police badge on it. I didn't notice that. He grabbed a crazy laser he mark. He grabs crazy now. laser mark ones. But um, that's one of the great movies. Uh, I Am Legend. We're trying to not give any spoiler alerts away, yes. too. So, um, another movie that we worked on, which uh, hap- this is one of the cooler ones because the director happened to be a Benchmade fan, uh, the new Point Break. Oh, not the yeah. original Keanu, uh, but the 2015 yeah. version. The Hardcore Mountain Man Point Break. Uh, they're on the mountain. They need some uh, basically survival knife. I said bushcrafter. Oh, yeah. Some bunch of bushcrafters. And even better, this is back when we made the 172 Tomahawk. In the bank heist and scene, you see some 172 Tomahawks smashing through some bank windows, plate glass. I did not know that. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, is it a good movie? I will not say. We're gonna, I'm going to re- refrain from judging that yeah, movie. You can't be Keanu. Yeah, with that's Flea the thing. The and Anthony Kiedis. So they get beat up on. So good. And then you had uh, Patrick Swayze. No! Johnny yeah. Utah, Eric Lee firing bullets in the air. <laughs> that's right. Ah! Quintessential yeah. 90s action. Yeah. Love it. One of the best. It's on the music in the background. The music is fantastic. Oh, we got some Tom Petty going on right now, I think. Uh, I did request some more bubblegum pop, but they didn't have any. Or some K-pop. I really yeah, K-pop. love my K-pop. Uh, <laughs> you want to hit the next one? Yeah, so uh, this, this one, a- I thought you grabbed a really awesome picture here. This one's tougher to see. Again, these sometimes move so quick. But Captain America Winter Soldier... And you can see actually on the shoulder of uh, crossbones. crossbones, that sock P dagger. So, honestly, I mean that sheathing system is designed to be incredibly versatile. You know, mount it kind of just about anywhere or anything. But usually we recommend toward the center of the torso. Yeah. But whatever, shoulder sleeves, and um, this is the actual he's also knife right magazines there. In his shoulder. Like, yeah, that's true. Would you Which, grab here? Uh, well, like you know, that's, that's maybe just, if you're him. But. I mean, if you're the crossbones. Yeah. Does yeah. Sound like noobs when I call them the crossbones. The crossbones. The crossbones. I'm surprised actually we don't see more Sockby stuff. It feels like it's. it's a, I don't know. It's a pretty hardcore knife. I, I'm surprised we don't see it more um, and more. Movies. Actually, in TV show wise, most recently in SEAL Team on CBS, starring David Boreanaz, formerly known as Angel. From Buffy the Vampire Slayer. OMG. Yeah. Uh, in case you guys didn't know, I watch a lot of TV and movies <laughs> and have very little life. So, uh, I will reference a lot of people like David Boreanaz from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. One of my favorite shows. Growing it up. It is one of the best shows. Uh, yeah, Josh Whedon. Yep. Josh Whedon. Can't, Can't beat that. Somebody said the, the fist fight had an infidel. This fight did have an infidel with Ice Cube. I remember sending that. And uh, Charlie from Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Okay, there we go. Uh, there's also actually, I believe, a 60 series Bally in there. One of the teachers pulls out a Bally. So good reference. I have Whoever not sent seen that. that. In. What was that last year that came out? Ugh, That's yeah, recent though, right? It was not long ago. I have not seen that one yet. I think it was on the airplane and I skipped over it. Oh, then that's pretty bad. <laughs> I don't watch everything I send knives to sometimes. Let's just say that. Uh, I'm pretty sure I sent those knives because I heard Ice Cube Project, unnamed Ice Cube Project. Sometimes these movie guys come to me before it has a name. Unnamed Ice Cube Project. I was like, in. It's yeah, got to be done. like straight yeah. out of Compton movie. <laughs> yeah. It's totally nope. not that movie. It is not that movie. Um, so next movie, which was one that oh, I was... Yeah. Re- I actually searched and tried to get into this movie. And I kind of do. Yeah, we're, we're displayed. John you know Wick 2. Yeah. This guy... That had just about every single knife or weapons manufacturer represented. In fact, Keanu Emily, I, I think you even said, like, if you weren't in this movie and you're in the industry, like, that's you're just, kind of yeah, too bad. Not cool enough. Yeah. yeah, not cool enough for John Wick to have <laughs> yeah. at least the choice to pick. That's right. Um, Choose wisely. <laughs> but in that scene where Keanu is getting suited up in John Wick 2, there's a brief glimpse of when they zoom into the knife uh, little, I guess, cabinets or little holders 
can see the corner of a 60 series. I said 60 series, 51 series, Morphos. I really want Keanu to have a Bally. Yeah, a Bally would have been awesome. Uh, yeah. I don't think Keanu wanted to learn how to use a Bally. No. That's cool. That's <laughs> yeah. cool, Keanu. Uh, and now, Keanu, if you're watching this, we will teach you to use a Bally if you come up. That's we'll no make you problem. A trainer. Yeah. A special trainer. Yeah, special. Yes. Um, I really, I so badly. I think I I'm said, sure Keanu's one of like the 10 people watching right now. I, yeah, probably. Uh, I believe we have 20. Oh, 20 or so. 50. On Facebook. Oh, Facebook, 50. we got 20 ish. Okay. But, um, but yeah, that was, uh, I, I, I sent him a lot of money and stuff. I don't want to say because it's kind of embarrassing. And that, that, the screen time I got was half a second, if that. Yeah. So anyway, let's let's talk about my failures uh, oh, as a person trying to insert a product <laughs> into a movie. Again, if you've seen our products in movies, uh, Benchmade in a movie that we haven't mentioned here, let us know. I'd like to know. I'll probably go watch the movie. Don't mind. And also, tell me if the movie's good or bad. And then I can just skip around. And try so, to find question. Scene. Yeah. Yes? What celebrities have we had come through the Oregon factory store? Vinny. Derek? Yeah. Celebrities. Stephen Ranella, I believe, has been yeah. Ranella. Uh, He's a meat eater, of course. Um, through the factory store, not a whole lot. At SHOT Show, that's a different yeah, story. Yeah, we do get actually a lot of visitors at SHOT Show. Uh, SHOT Show, we get a lot of folks. Uh, let's see, my, my... I don't know if he's my favorite. Let's, I don't know if I'm going to tell you. Steven Seagal. Oh, yeah. Deputy yes. Steven Or is he a sheriff? I don't know if they actually yeah. elected him as sheriff. But... He is uh, he comes by the booth a lot at Chacho. Used to. We should say used to. Um, does a slow keto on us. Yes. Uh, the Hulk. Not Mark Ruffalo, the other one, the original one. Frigno. Lou Frigno. He's also been by. Oh yeah. Uh, Grizzly Adams. Grizzly Adams two years ago came by the Chacho booth. Hmm. God rest his soul. Well, I recently, uh, at the Oregon uh, Night Show, picked up a Jody Sampson uh, custom ballet song. It has that Chris Blade. I think I showed you. Mm-hmm. Um, and originally, I had thought, just looking at it, I thought that was the knife used in Face Off. Oh, like, it reminded the Chris me so Blade. much of it. Yeah, the Chris Blade. But when I went back and I had to go ahead and examine that movie, it was not. That it was shorter. It was shorter. Now I can't tell where it came from. It could have been. They also offered it in shorter blade variants, but it wasn't. I got the five inch. Yeah. So. You want to see the valley again? Oh, oh yeah. So this is actually what this is just a proto. I don't yeah. think this was. So this is prototyped January two thousand three. Oh. Um, and you've got looks like what do we got here? Uh, G10, G10 inlays. inlays. Yeah. Looks like aluminum, a, handles? aluminum handles with a, like a smoke gray Cerakote. You got a Cerakoted blade. It is a spring latch, which is why Derek brought it. But this was just, never went to production. Just a proto, but really, really cool. And in fact, honestly, I'd love to see a belly in this kind of finish. That's, Hold it right there, Hans. I'll yep. do a slow scan. Yeah, slow scan, please. Oh, yeah. it's a 42-1? That's what somebody's saying here. 42 dash one dash o one dash o one there we go yeah pretty sweet you and know then, uh, infidel in walking dead yes Was season there? one or two i can't remember before uh a certain other organ brand paid a lot of money to get all their stuff <laughs> we won't say that um so let's also about let's also clarify I don't pay any money to get our knives there. I just give a product. Uh, and it's my, my endearing charm that gets yes, it in. Great. Mostly the charm. Perhaps that's yeah. why we don't get much space. Um, I hope that's not the case. God. Uh, but yeah. No, Walking Dead is a good uh, example. And gosh, if you run out of ammo in a zombie apocalypse, an edge tool, I'll take you far. That's right. Not to mention silent. Yes, Silent. important in the zombie apocalypse. They're Extremely all, important. Crossbows what I've learned, and knives. What I've learned is they're all attracted to sound. Every, no matter which zombie variant you're talking about, sound is always bad. Uh, here's a random muscle movie that we're in. Underworld. But oh, not what you would oh, think. Oh, it, it's the hooks. It's the hooks on Celine's like, like a killer, like vampire or yeah, werewolf. Yeah, the werewolf rescue hooks. Here. 
She the, has, I believe, a five hook. Five hook? Yeah. <laughs> there. I think hook they just thought it really cool. handy for vampire killing. Well, when you need to, uh, well, she's hiding lichens. Oh, that's right, lichens. 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 She needs to open them up. That's or, right. Or, or, or yeah. rescue them. Or cre- oh, that's remove true. their clothing it could to create be, more yes. trauma. Yes, it could be, yeah. It definitely the could be The opposite of its intention. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for joining us on Beers with Benchmade. Yeah, we're getting a lots of Grim, like Phaeton and like Ice. So again, Grim shot here in Portland, yeah. Oregon. I would hope they were using some Benchmades. Uh, basic exclusively used a lot of Benchmades. Um, I shouldn't say exclusive, but they use a lot of Benchmades outside uh, of their Fantasy Blade tools. Horrible admission as a Portlander, I've never you actually watch watched it? Grim. I, I really, should. I really just want. I, I went on set a couple times, and I really just want some screen time. I want to be like, just make me extra. Just make me extra. Like, did you send them every knife that's featured in Grimm, or did every bench some? made okay. that was in that show was sent by me? Gotcha. Yeah, uh, in my time with the company, I think they should start a little before I started. But uh, yeah, but for the most part, ballets, autos, all those uh, made it rain knives on these guys. Nicely done. So yeah. So, again, thank you for joining us on Beers with Benchmade. We'll be back next week with more fun, silly craziness. Fun yeah. week for Ultimate Experience. Oh, yeah. Thanks, so, Emily. we did have a couple times, including last week at Blade Show, feature that Blade or the uh, Ultimate Experience Mini Crooked River. It's got the canva- or the linen micarta scales on there and the coated blade, black bolster, super hot knife. Uh, last week here coming up on us to submit a story of you and a Benchmade in order to be eligible to purchase that and possibly yes. win the chance to create a one-of-a-kind gold-class Crooked River Knife. Which is awesome. Yeah. Uh, you can name your materials. Yeah. I mean, we're Whatever talking, yeah, handle stuff, anything from carbon fibers and titaniums to mocha maze and, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, blades. You want S90V Crooked River. You want uh, Dama Steel Crooked and River. And no one's going to have this. Yeah. Literally, we're making you one, of one out of one knife. Yeah. Um, so the uniqueness factor is right there. You'll be the cool kid on the block. Um, so, yeah. And real quick, if anybody out there has recently been uh, used a Benchmade to save their life from a rabid coyote mm. uh, anywhere in Georgia, you should submit that story. I, real quick, I want, <laughs> I want to answer some of those questions in the thread. People are, are poo-pooing the story like, oh, coyote would never attack you. AK, it was rabid. It had rabies. Yeah. Yeah. It's gone bananas. It'll yeah. do whatever. Yes, we understand. Coyotes will normally sneak and stalk on you and not come straight at you. This is old yeller style. Minus the cute endearing um, yellow lab or uh, golden retriever that old yeller was. This was a pretty pissed off, angry coyote yeah. with rabies. Yes. And the barrage, the... <laughs> Mini barrage? Uh, I think it was a full size. Full size full barrage. Dash two. Dash two barrage. And uh, used it, dispatched this coyote. It's legit. Don't poo the guy. I uh, was able to get in contact with his wife. Oh. They are purchasing Ben's, Ben's made for the entire family. Okay, now. awesome. Coyote we repellent. We actually, don't right. ad- we actually do not suggest you try to get in a fight with a rabid coyote no. with a knife. No, but just in case. Yeah, but just in case you yeah. Preparedness. Get some, yeah. That's key. That's, what's, that's key. Yeah. So, I'm always thinking about that uh, next don't coyote. For, yes, as we were saying, the ultimate experience, if you have stories like that, let us know about it. You can submit at benchmade.com. Uh, tell us your story, and just by doing so, you're entered for a chance. Uh, you're not entered for a chance, but you're entered for a chance, yes, to win the ultimate experience, but also you qualify for an opportunity to buy that limited edition 500-piece Crooked River. Yeah. Knife. So um, that's it. All right. We'll see you guys next week. Thanks for joining us on Beers of Benchmade. Good time.